this is a sneak peek of the Lincoln Interactive Curriculum. Uh, the Lincoln Interactive Curriculum covers grades 3 and 4. The Lincoln Curriculum that is kindergarten through second grade is called Little Lincoln. So today we will be looking at the fourth grade portion of Lincoln Interactive. So if you choose this curriculum, you will receive activity books for math, language arts, science, and social studies. Along with the activity books, you will receive a whole bunch of supplies. And the supplies will supplement your lessons. The other things that will supplement your lessons are videos, which are online. And I will show you the video portion after we look at the book portion. Now, in your daily work with your students, you would do the video portion and then, and that would be the lesson, and then you would follow up with that with the workbook portion, which you'll see here. So, if we look at language arts first, these are the activity books. This is towards the end of the year, the books that I have for you, but I'll show you in your supplies, you would receive books like because of Winn-Dixie, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, Latasha and the Kid on Keys. You would also receive some other novels. Uh, there's a giant Webster's Children's Dictionary. There's a thesaurus that you would receive. And there's also a workbook with collections of different types of genres of reading that your child will be asked to read and do some work with. Um, so let's look at some of the workbook pages for language arts. So this is unit five, about halfway through the year. There are, in the language arts, there are reading lessons. Um, there are writing lessons. There are grammar lessons and there are spelling lessons. So there is a list of spelling words each week and then a spelling test for each week. As you can see, there is a lot of work uh, for the language arts seg segment of the Lincoln Interactive Curriculum. So something that some families find difficult is getting through all of the lessons in the curriculum. And so, we ask t parents who are the teachers to make their best judgment about what their child needs to work on, what they're weak on, and what they're okay on. Some families choose to do lessons orally. Some families choose to help their child with dictating things. There's all sorts of ways to get through the curriculum, getting all the understanding of it, but not actually doing all of these long workbook pages. Um, Lincoln Interactive is very strong in writing. There's a lot of writing involved in the curriculum that takes the child through, pre through brainstorming and then pre-writing and planning and writing a rough draft and then following through to the end. At the end of each writing assignment is a rubric for grading the writing. So again, it's quite strong with uh, writing as well as all the other comprehension and spelling and grammar. Okay, so that's the language arts part. Next, we'll take a look at the math. So with the math, there are manipulatives that you receive. There are, and I don't have those available today to show you, but I will show you the list of all the things that you receive. There is a reference sheet that your child can look at and there are the very useful videos that show lessons as well. Okay, again, we'll look at units five and six. Um, in here, the lessons cover all the different parts of math learning, uh, such as computation, such as geometry, reading graphs, fractions, and things like this. So here we see a geometry thing that's the unit that this child is working on here. But it goes through all the different um, types of math. 
Uh, the math along with the other curriculum goes quite quickly through this. So the child is introduced to it and then fairly quickly is expected to understand and follow through. So that's sometimes a problem with children who are um, who struggle with learning things quickly. Okay, so that's the math. You'll see with each of these workbook pages, um, there's the lesson number that corresponds with the video lesson as well. And with all of the workbook pages, occasionally there is a page, I'm looking for one now, that is marked as Scan It. I'm not finding any right now. So the Scan It lessons are the ones that parents are asked to submit once a month uh, for my review or the other teacher review. So here's an example of a Scan It lesson that, the, that you would be expected to send in uh, so that we can make sure that the child is understanding. So again, there's lots and lots of different opportunities for learning. Um, here, here's another Scan It lesson. Okay, so that's the math curriculum. Um, next, we'll look at science. And so science comes with all, pretty much all the stuff that you would need for an experiment. So this is an electronic set. This is for when the child is studying owls. These are owl pellets. These are balloons for an experiment. There's a magnet set for learning about magnetism. Uh, safety goggles. There are experiments with sand and soil. As, as you can see, in the kit that you get at the start of the year, you have pretty much everything that you need. Now for some families, it's overwhelming because there are lots of boxes of supplies that arrive in the mail. So if this is the curriculum you choose, just be ready for that. Um, if we look at the activities book for the fourth grade, um, there are experiments, there are the videos, and then there are the scan it lessons. So this book that I have, this child is ready for the unit five review. So at the end of each science unit is a very lengthy review with quite detailed questions. So it's several, this one is several pages long. And then the child, once the child does that, they would take a test online and then move on to the next unit in science. Um, so the feedback that I get from parents on the science and social studies for Lincoln Interactive is that it goes through the material very quickly. Um, and it's pretty detailed, the information that the children are learning. And sometimes a fourth grader has a hard time keeping track of all this learning. And then sometimes when they take their unit test, their scores aren't great. And our feedback to parents about that is it's okay for you to sit with your child and take that test with your child and use it as a learning opportunity rather than a true assessment. And that is fine with us. But again, here's the study guide for this unit, and it's quite detailed, um, all the things that the child is learning. Okay, so this is a very uh, broad curriculum that exposes children to all sorts of different aspects of science and social studies. So that's science, and then, oh, and the science also comes with a nice dictionary for kids um, that explains all sorts of things. Children really tend to like this a lot. Okay, so next we will look at the social studies. So again, the social studies, this child is on unit five, and the social studies comes with um, some hands-on stuff. The, the child that I borrowed this stuff from uh, shared with me the globe that's a ball that you can blow up and there are other things but that's all that I have to show you for this today so uh, it's a very broad curriculum that exposes children to all sorts of different learning but again sometimes the feedback is it goes very quickly through it and 
the um, assessments are difficult for children. And again, we're fine with children using this as a learning opportunity with their parents. Um, so clearly this child is now learning about different geography of the states. Um, but these are examples of what you might see in this curriculum. And again, there's an end of unit review that the child does, and then they do the test online. So that is the social studies curriculum. Other materials that you receive with this curriculum are, there's a whiteboard that comes with it. There's all sorts of pens and markers, all different kinds of paper. So this is graph paper for math. You have your writing paper, you have your construction paper, you have all sorts of stuff that you have to get you through the curriculum. So now I'm going to take a minute and move over to the